Hello. This weekend is the weekend of Remembrance, Remembrance Sunday, Remembrance Tide, the next Wednesday. And it is a time when we remember all those who give their lives so that we might live our lives today, gave their lives in war. And we're not just thinking, of course, about the Great War, World War One, or World War Two. These figure largely in our memories. But we should not forget the Korean War, Cyprus, Falklands, Afghanistan, Iraq, all these places. And war is with us continually. And somewhere in the world, people are fighting. And very often it's our troops, our servicemen and women, who are fighting abroad in our name in areas of great conflict and danger. And we remember those a more distant past and those in a more recent past where we remember people who we might have known. To lay down one's life is not what not something that you might choose to do if you are serving in a war zone, then it is often a matter of fortune, ill luck or being in the wrong place at the wrong time, whether you are going to survive or not. It's something which we cannot determine. But the fact that, you, that people are there doing it in our name is something that we should remember and we should think about. And it's often young men. Nowadays, of course, it is young women too. And we should not ever forget that times change and where we, if we think about First and Second War, we think about young men. But nowadays, we should remember young women as well. And who is it? Who are these people who gave their lives? Well, if you look at the list of names on your local war memorial, they may be just a long list of names. Some of them you may recognize as local names, people who, people who still live in the locality. Many of them will be complete strangers to you. But who were they? Well, they were people like you and I. Just ordinary people. Ordinary people called upon to do extraordinary things. Sometimes called upon things to do which were so dreadful and terrible that they never quite recovered from them. And it remained an everlasting scar upon their physical body or on their mental health. War is a terrible thing. And people who might say that by celebrating, by commemorating Remembrance Sunday, we are in some way glorifying war and warfare, this is an entirely mistaken belief. War is a terrible business. And if you were to ask any serviceman who's been through warfare, he or she will tell you just the same thing. That war is hell. War is not good. War is evil. And war is always with us. So I'm afraid we will always be in this position of remembering those who died for us died for us so that we might continue our lives in the way that we always have. And we should not forget their sacrifice and the effect it has on their families. Long lasting and people remember their young sons and young daughters taken away from them in their youth and destroy their family unit. They have no children no grandchildren, and a big hole in people's lives, which lasts almost forever. And we are 
often keen to forget just what this means in terms of social cost. Families broken apart, careers suddenly lost, wives and families bereft. All these things are the outcome of war and no one can say that this is a wonderful thing. So this is one time of, the one time of year when we are pushed, encouraged to remember those who have died. I say they are ordinary people, ordinary people called upon to do extraordinary things. My wife's uncle, a young man, injured at the Battle of the Somme, died at the Battle of Amiens just a few days before the end of the war. He was a young man who never had, who never married, never had children, and his mother and his siblings always remembered him. My own grandfather was 48 when he was conscripted. 48, a, a man with a, a man with a quite a large family, including my father, and he was conscripted at the age of 48 and sent off to France. Just ordinary people caught up in the turmoil of war. So when you go past a war memorial next, just stop for a while and have a look at the names, just have a look at them, read them uh, silently to yourself if you wish. But remember that these people are people, real people, who lived a, a life, many of them lived a life among us, some of them are buried far away, either in in the battlefields of Northern Europe, or in the Far East, or even in war graves, in, in ships which went down. People like us, who lived with us, no longer with us, but gave their lives so that our lives may continue as they do. So I leave you with this thought. It's a blessing. Go forth into the world in peace. Be of good courage. Hold fast to that which is good. Render to no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Help the afflicted. Honour everyone. Love and serve the Lord rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit and pray for peace we pray for peace which the world needs but which the world does not have and as long as we have no peace then our young people will still be giving their lives all over the world for us and we should remember them. Thank you for listening.